and we all know now, pandas are vegetarians. All of their food are coming from bamboos. So, today, I would like to talk about humans should not interfere the raising of pandas. So how did this saving panda thing start? According to Chengdu research based on giant panda breeding, due to the flowering and the withering of part of the special bamboos in panda habitats of the Chunwai Mountains and Minchang Mountains in the 1970s and 1980s, there were only 250 pandas alive and starved from that, during that time period. So the local government decided to do something for those pandas. Sichuan government saved 63 pandas from 1974 to 1993. Well, guess how many pandas do we have right now? It's more than 3,000 of them. According to Dave Tony, the president of Giant Panda Conservation Foundation for North America, humans cost over a billion dollars per year in order to save, in order to raising pandas. It means each panda will cost seven thousand and eight hundred dollars per year just for one panda. Pandas spend more than twelve hours sleeping, and they also spend more than twelve hours eating. But the interesting thing is, they only absorb seventeen percent of nutrition. Maybe because they used to eat meat, but now they can only eat vegetables. Sometimes, pandas could even weigh 300 pounds. Let me tell you something um, happening my own. When I went to Sichuan province, um, and the, the, the place where they raise pandas um, show us how they reproduce pandas. Well, what they did is they, they used an electricity bar to shock the male pandas in order to get the sperms. That's very cruel. Huh? And also, they told us the reason that why there are only a few amount of pandas is because sometimes when they just give birth to the new panda babies, they, may, they might sit on their babies. some picture of the little panda baby. <coughs> it's very relatable. They are like this big. And also, according to CDC, pandas is the first kind of animal that humans find each one and one berries in their bodies. And also, we all know, this kind of virus will infect humans. So we may ask, why are we saving them? Why are we cost tons of money in order to save them? In China, there are a lot of kids that are in starving. They don't have money to pay the food. And also, there are more kids in China. They do not have money to pay for their education. So why? Why are we using tons of money just in order to save this one species? So, I think of some solutions maybe can help with this situation. First, I think we need to reduce the bounds of raising pandas. We can put those money in education or in community service or in any other areas. Second one, because I'm not an animal hater, I'm not saying we are going to kill them all. I think we need to put them back to nature. Maybe put them with any other wildlife and to see if they can fit in this new environment. Or maybe they can go back to food chain and maybe they can eat meat again. So all in all, I think humans 
should not interfere the raising of panda. Why not just let the nature do the choice to see if they can fit in this world or not? Oh, um, at last, I want to quote the, uh, a word that I saw this morning. The beauty of nature demonstrates just how little humans really know. We can never create the constantly evolving show of modern nature. Thank you.